Welcome to Slide Up Lift. Today we're going to learn how to use Morph Transition in PowerPoint to create a presentation that's out of this world. This template's got a futuristic vibe that's perfect for showcasing cutting edge ideas in a cool manner. To save time, you can even download this template using the link in the description. Or if you'd like to do it yourself, keep watching. First, let's open a blank slide in PowerPoint. Get rid of that placeholder text. Click on the background, right click, and choose Format Background. Next, click on Picture or Texture Fill and then Insert. In the window that pops up, click from a file. Find the image you saved and click Insert. Cool, now let's add a rectangle to cover the whole background. Go to Shapes, grab a rectangle, and drag it over the whole background. Right click and choose Format Shape. Go to Solid, Fill Color, and pick a dark black. Set the transparency to 50%, go to Line and choose No Line Close Format Shape. Now let's add a circle to the center. Go back to Shapes and pick Circle. Draw a big circle on the slide. Then center the circle by aligning it vertically and horizontally. Draw a smaller circle inside it. Select both circles, right click, format shape and choose slide background fill. Pick white for the line color, make it thicker and close format shape. Add another small circle. Align it with the other circles. Select the circle, right click and choose format shape. In format shape, go to solid fill and pick dark black. Set the transparency to 40% and choose no line. Now put your content text in the dark circle. Open your content file and copy the title control C. Grab a text placeholder from shapes and put it on the slide. Paste the title control V. Select the whole title control A, make it white, bigger, and center it. Do the same for the subtitle and description. Let's add a call to action button, copy the CTA text, go to the slide, grab a rounded rectangle, and put it on the slide. In the format shape menu, pick no line, add your CTA text. Make the CTA text regular, not bold, and smaller. Select the rounded shape, go to color and use the eyedropper to pick the background color. Select all the content shift left arrow and align it nicely. Right click and group the shapes. Center the group and close format shape. Let's duplicate this slide for the next section. Go to the slide bar, select the slide, and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Go to the new slide and cut the faded rectangle layer Ctrl X. Select the background, right click and choose format background. Click on picture or texture fill and then insert. In the window that pops up, click from a file. Find the image you saved and click insert. Paste the faded rectangle back Ctrl V. While the rectangle is selected, right click and choose send to back. Replace the text present on the slide. Repeat these steps for the rest of the slides. Let's check our work. Go through each slide and make sure everything looks good. Now let's add a cool animation. Go to the first slide and zoom in. Select the larger circle and rotate it one way. Rotate the smaller circle the other way. Do the same for the circles on the other slides. 
Make sure each slide circles rotate in the opposite direction for the animation to look right. Once you're done, select all the slides while holding the Shift key. Go to Transitions and apply the Morph animation to all slides. Click Slideshow to see the animation. Check out the link in the description to download the template now. You can also get 10% off with the code below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Slide Uplift. Hit that bell icon to get notified for our next video. You can check out our channel for more PowerPoint tutorials.